I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on slope of line. We are actually kind of doing reverse calculation in this, right? So you'll soon see what is what do I mean by doing reverse calculations. The question here is write two different sets of points of a line segment which has following slope. So number one slope is zero and for the second one we have slope as undefined. So these are very special cases for line. Zero slope means what? And undefined slope means what? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So let's first consider zero slope. So when I say slope is zero, it means that it is a horizontal line. Is that okay? Now horizontal line, what is the rise? rise is zero because it is not increasing right or decreasing since the rise is zero then the ratio rise over run will be zero over any run right run cannot be zero in this case will be zero is it okay so that gives you that the slope of the line means zero implies that you are working on a horizontal line right so so that line could be kind of like this right now let's get back to the question. It says write two different sets of points of a line segment which has the following slope, zero slope. So in that case, if I choose this point to be, let us say y intercept of 4, then what could be any other point? Any other point could be, let's say here, the x value could be 3, but the y value remains 4 itself. Do you see that? So one set could be point A, x value of 0, y value of 4, and point B, x value anything but 0, so 3, and y value remaining 4. So that is one set. Well, you could consider a line like this here also, right? In this case, if my y intercept is, let us say, minus 5, then the point C and D could be x value of 0, y value of minus 5, and d any other point it could be negative whatever let's say negative six but y value remains same so the important thing here is that x can change but y remains same right so in general i could write a point p which is x y and a point q which is change in x is there okay but y remains same do you see that so that kind of a line will have zero slope and you can find many points using these two set of points, right? So when I join them with endpoints, it becomes a line segment, I hope. So CD becomes a line segment, right? C and D becomes a line segment, A and B becomes a line segment. That's the whole idea. So I hope the concept is clear and now you can definitely write down set of points where the slope is undefined. Now let's look into this part. Undefined slope means what? It means vertical line. Why? We are saying slope is undefined. That means change in y is something, but we are dividing by zero. We are saying that delta x is equals to zero. So when you divide by zero, what do you get? You get undefined slope. So that's the whole idea right so you could sketch a line with undefined slope but it has to be vertical right so any line which is kind of like this will have undefined slope now two points on this line could be if i take this point as let's say this is six here x value y value is let's say minus four in that case what could be the value of this point well the x value has to remain same but y can change. So y could be, let's say, 5. Okay. So that set of points is one set. So we can say uh, points are m, uh, 6 minus 4, and n as 6 plus 5. Correct? So in this, you'll find two points, which have values x and y. And the other point, the x value remains same but the y could be different. So y plus delta y. Do you see that? So any set of points could be written using this 
coordinates is it okay so what you can do also is at times make a table for different sets of lines right so we could write uh, let's say different values of x and then find y values the important thing is x value has to remain same so if i say x value is let us say one right so different values of x we could have different values of y i mean same value of x so y could be like minus two zero or three whatever but always at one so that will be representing a line which could be like what can you sketch one so x value is one so that means kind of like this so it's a vertical line which goes through x equals to one correct so that is how you can find many line segments which will meet the criteria i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you to understand the concept of finding points on a line with given slope i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best.